Uh, uh, welcome back to Get Your Popcorn Ready Podcast. This is your host, Hatch, with my boy. Yes, sir. T.O. is in the building. In the building. Yep, we have yep. somebody else. With, we have T.O.'s body double in the building today. <laughs> or actually, a guy that T.O. is going to body double for him. Yep. LaMonica Garrett. <laughs> welcome to the show, yeah. my guy. What's up, y'all? I glad, appreciate glad you coming up, man. Man, I can't you know, call I'm, it, I see man. you with the 1883 hat I got to represent, on. man. got to represent. So you just got done shooting that show, right? Shameless no, plug. Shameless. Yeah. <laughs> shameless plug. Product placement. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> No, we did 1883. That's in the can. We've right. done that. Now the new show I just finished up is Lioness. Yeah, that's the next yeah. one coming. It'll that's be on Paramount ready. Plus. It's, okay. uh, it's a CIA kind of spy thriller kind of show. So who's in that? I, I hear you have some, some very, big names. It's some very the uh, heaviest, uh, right. <laughs> distinguished, and uh, acclaimed uh, yeah. actors in this movie. We got uh, we got Zoe Saldana. Yes. Yeah, Beast. We got oh Nicole gosh. Kidman. Beast. We got Morgan Freeman. Beast. And oh, Michael course. Kelly is a savage. Uh, yeah. And you got myself. Right, okay. right, right. Yeah, we got, we got it's, it's a really good cast. Beast. Yourself. Beast. 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 You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Did you get to do other the uh, the martial arts and stuff in this? I don't or, do a lot of martial arts, but I, I do the fight a few cats through windows and, okay. and get my hands dirty so that that's always fun did you throw yeah. zoe saldana through a window i did not get to throw, <laughs> Why would you throw? she's so beautiful you can't i know throw no something but like it's, the, through it's the window it's it's part of the show y'all got a part zoe, where y'all can throw zoe. you through the window <laughs> <laughs> zoe the one throwing people around. i'm about to like, say zoe. i know she's you fighting colombiana this, and yes Colombia. Like, yeah, beast. She, she a savage yeah like she gets again it y'all got a part where y'all can throw him through the window we out the door we we're gonna work something up no ad lib stick to the script you know stick to the script yeah so no congratulations again i've known you for years been watching you do your thing out here appreciate like said, it man. now you're on the big screen with the big names like when did you see that transition start to happening from you know being okay with the more independent filmmaking yeah the smaller roles to like the bigger roles now i think with, with with acting there's not really a structure like you know other professions if you, you, know, you want to be a lawyer you go past the bar you do right. this and you get some clients acting you just figure it out as you go mm-hmm there's no rhyme or reason, I think, but the work you put in, the work ethic, and you're in class, you're doing what you got to do, mm-hmm. it it kind of works its way out. Right. You know, if you just put that work in, it'll it'll come back around. A lot of people don't really, they take off before it mm. happens for them. Yeah. Like, I, I listen to a lot of, uh, you know, big names, and they talk about they moved out to L.A. with their buddies. And their buddies moved back that were much more talented than them. But they stuck around. It's like that yep. war of attrition. Yeah. Right. And they just They couldn't endure the grind. Yeah, their yeah. their turn came and they didn't get out of line. And and yeah. that's kind of what it is. So where you are now, did it did it take as long as it did for you? Did it take a long time to get there or did it take Quit, was it quicker than no. you expected? <laughs> Definitely or? not quicker. No, nah, huh? it, it took <laughs> I went the long route. Yeah, like okay. I, it, for me, there's people that see me and it's like, oh, you know, you came up kind of no, oh, yeah, man, I've been, I've been doing I've it. I've been grinding. Like, I've been, you know. Like, you just popped out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah like, I'm overnight, you know, it takes a whole career to be overnight sensation. Yeah. When people look up 1883, because that's the first time a lot of them saw me, they start looking up, you got, like, 60-something credits. Like, oh, you were on Designated Survivor. Yeah. Oh, you were on The Last Ship. Oh, like, I, quietly. I told you. <laughs> I've been, you know, I've been trying, but it's, you know, when, they, when Hollywood lets you in is when they let you in. Mm, come on. And you just got to. It's the war of attrition. You just got to stick around. Right. Now, of course, now you're on, you're on the show with uh, Morgan Freeman, yeah. right? who, of course, has been around for years upon years. Yeah. Did you guys have a chance to talk about the grind, if you will, and like how long it takes? I'm sure he was like, hey, young fella, you just getting started. No, I, I, uh, I pulled him aside. I don't have any scenes with him in mm-hmm. this show, but, you know, you read the call sheets that come out day to day, and I'm like, all right, he's about to leave. We were in Spain working. Okay. And I saw he was about to travel out the next day. So I got my stuff together, went up to set, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I'm meeting Morgan Freeman. Like, Absolutely. I thought we'd run into each other at some point. Right. We didn't, so I made my it My last happen. chance. Yeah, right. this is my last chance to meet Morgan Freeman. So I went, you know, the, the director introduced me to him, shook his hand. I told him how big of an influence he was. And, yeah. hey, man, like, you're two of my favorite movies ever was Unforgiven and Shawshank Redemption. Shawshank, and wow. That, that's him. Yeah, like, yeah. He's, it's that's inspiring. You and you meet him, and he was just humble and gracious. Good dude. He met my, my, I had my family out there shooting when I, when I was out there. He met my daughter, my, you know, my wife. 
You it know? was just, it was an amazing experience. I still see him as Jesus from uh, Bruce Almighty. That's yeah, or that. <laughs> you know I see him I'm as saying? Joe Clark, too. Uh, Joe Clark. You used Joe to call Clark. me Crazy Joe, <laughs> now you can just call me Batman. Hey, hey uh, that's a classic. But again, yeah. meeting guys like that, and, and of course, in the profession, do you still get the butterflies a little I do. bit? I, you really? know, and, and I don't think that should ever go away. That's right. that part of you, like why you got into it. True. It's on 1883. I'll never forget. I'm in the trailer with Tim McGraw and uh, and Tom Hanks comes into the, the makeup trailer. Wow. That's a thing. Yeah, it's, it's, that's it's, a thing. It's, it's, it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> and Tom Hanks looked at Tim, him and Tim are buddies, and he's like, yeah. I just met Sam Elliott. And Tom like, Hanks said Tom he Hanks just met said, Sam Elliott. I Elliot. just met Sam Elliott. That's awesome. <laughs> and you're Tom Hanks. That's awesome. Right, There's right. no level that we get to. And even when Morgan was on set, Zoe Saldana and Nicole and them was like, this, this is Morgan Freeman. That's awesome. That's you know, right. I, it's funny you say that because I'm always uh, in shock, if you will, because a lot of people, like, they meet T. And I'm just like, and they're excited to meet him. But T is always one taking pictures with them. Like, hey, let me get a picture. And they're like, yeah. you want to take a picture of me? And I'm like... You take more pictures, but he has that childish manner yeah. when it comes to meeting people like that. Yeah. And so I'm always enamored when I hear the Tom Hanks stories or mm. Denzel wanting to meet somebody. Like, that amazes me right. because they're already here. Yeah. And the other person's happy to meet you, but you up them with your candidness, right. if but you that, will. But that childish kind of like, that's why you, you guys started playing football. Yeah. And Facts. that's why you guys played at a high level. Facts, if it was, yeah. you know, it, yeah, you got to make the you know money. You got you to feed the family. You got to do all that. Right. But you still enjoy joy when you know the, the from the first click of the game to the last yeah. click it's not about money it's not about nothing yeah. else i think it's just that respect and that appreciation yeah, you know, yeah. For, for what you're watching that person do you know what i mean Facts. and they're very successful at it yeah you know what i mean you're kind of like you become a fan you know what i mean absolutely you know what i mean because like i said men that you mentioned designated survivor i i tell people like bro that's like one of the best Series I've watched on wow. Netflix. Yeah, you know what I mean. You, um, you was in that. You was in there. Kiefer Sutherland. Kiefer, yeah. And the dude Beast. that was that really blew my. Eye. I, I just thought he was amazing. Cal Penn that played. Cal, the, uh, yeah, the my press, dog. He yeah, the press secretary. Cal's an amazing dude, bro. Right, right. Yeah, bro. That have you seen it? No, dude, I haven't. It seen is it. amazing. Really, it bro. Um, out of all, between that designated survivor and Ozark. Those are your two, two favorite? favorites That's what's that I up, watched man. That's awesome. during Absolutely. the pandemic, bro. And I'm talking about I was glued. Yeah. Bro, I'm talking <laughs> about glued had I was like been watching. Like I was <laughs> watch, starting at like two or three like, o'clock. Don't in the call morning. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of those it, days. Don't I mean, call me. I'm watching. But this it was today. so good, man, that I had other people watching. I'm like, yo, you gotta check out Designated Survivor. That's awesome. Because it touched on some of the stuff that we were going on, like with, yeah. with, with, with the, the pandemic. With real day like, events. Yeah, like real and day. In the White House, and you see how just the, the order, the hierarchy of how things are with the presidency, like everything, yeah. how every They kind of lift the veil on what we don't see as a public. Right, right. behind right. the scenes, yeah. bro. It is unreal. Yeah. Great job, Thank man. you, bro. I, I forgot that, that, but yeah, you brought, yes. And a lot less, a uh, lot less it is. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Clean face. Clean. Yeah, clean face. Had baby face going <laughs> on. Yeah, yeah. And a whip yep. appeal. Mm -hmm. Already. Yep. Now, when you go, go into auditions, do you try to go in with that look or do you go in with any look and then and have the casting change person it. change it later it on. I kind of go in whatever I'm whatever I'm wherever I'm at at that moment in time. Yeah, right. Like if I got a beard, I'll I'll read with the, with the beard and the closer it gets to we want to see what you look like the like character. between me or one other person, mm -hmm. then you do. All right, I'll shave it off. Okay. You know, but I'll say they they send, you know, here's a casting and they have like 3000 submissions. Mhm. Mm They'll send out like 100 Agents like, hey, we want to see 100 people. Mm -hmm. And they'll narrow it down to like 10 people. And then they narrow it down to like five and right. three. And right. like, I'm if I'm that 100, right. I don't even know if you guys like me at all. Like, hey, I anyway. can be the wrong. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm you shaving all this no. six months like, off yeah, for that. I got this Grizzly Adams <laughs> for a reason. It's <laughs> easier to keep it on than to, yeah. you know, you have to grow it over night. Yeah. Like, because one of the role comes up, like, we want this. This, you know, grizzled, old, whatever. Then you got to do the fake stuff. Uh, yeah, you like do I'm that good. Yeah. And it's, it's funny, on, on 1883, my character, he he's looks well into his 50s. Yeah. Like he's yeah. an old dude. And back then, you could be 30 and look like you're 75. Like, right, like, right. Life was hard back then, <laughs> yes, you know. Yes, sir. <laughs> and, I'm, and people don't recognize me from the show because— 
You I, look older. It was, it was white. Yeah, it was white. And I don't have, you know, I don't have that crispy headline yeah. like you got. <laughs> I'm following the challenge. That's, that's manufactured. That's, that's by, manufactured. manufactured <laughs> by the way. Yeah, yeah, man. It's all TV ready. It's yeah. all TV ready. It's hard to look this good. I know. <laughs> so I, you know, grew the hair out, and it's white. It. You know, it's some of the stuff ain't where you yeah, saw pepper up you know, there. Huh? And they're like, no, you're not Thomas. Thomas is old. That's that's not Hollywood magic. Right, I'm like, yeah. I'm that, Thomas. that's really me. Oh, yeah, this yeah. is the Hollywood magic. Got the little dye yeah, up. But yeah, that's yeah. Funny. So you just, you know, you, you fit to what you need to be. But yep. on the day to day for auditions, I just show up. Right. And if you guys see something that it could be, I might be right for and we'll yeah. figure it out later. Right. Yep. So you just mentioned like, you know, some of the like. You mentioned Tom Hanks, Zoe. We talked about, you know, Morgan. You know, obviously Denzel. Is there, is there anybody that you haven't been on the screen on the set with that you would like to? Man, I got a laundry list of people. <laughs> okay, let's give give me Wait, your top top five. Top, top five. five top, top five. Top five. five you want to work with? Yeah, you want to work. Top with. five would be would be Denzel's one of them. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, Tom Hardy's another one. Beast, of course. Big Tom Hardy fan. Uh, man, Gene Hackman doesn't act anymore, but he's still around. Maybe he comes out of retirement. Ooh, yeah, but I'm a, yeah. I'm a huge Gene Hackman fan. Really? Viola Davis yeah, uh, is, is a beast. That's, and that's amazing. When you make so much money, you don't need to act no more. You, you just you just call it. Yeah, just call, and he he retired like tw but he retired like in his prime. Like 20 years ago, he that. was. I didn't hear that story. He retired like in the late 90s. Gene Hackman. And when before he retired, like right now, Sam Elliott's like 77, 78. Kevin right. Costner's up there. Sam, you know, I don't know how old Samuel Jackson is, but Morgan Freeman's up in his mid to late set. Yeah. They're still yeah. going. Sam, yeah, yeah I read Freeman. an article with Kevin Costner, and he said the two biggest, the biggest star he ever worked with mm -hmm. was uh, like that presence on set with Sean Connery. Bro, really? It was because he yeah, he just got the look. You the Sean Connery, I mean, yeah, right? yeah, yeah man. you Sean Connery, man. Like, yeah. yeah. So it's funny. Like, I just love hearing about like we've been talking about. You get actors to this esteem level, mm -hmm. and they're still geeking out yeah. when they meet certain actors yeah. and certain, you know. So I think, like I said, when I first retired, when I got out here, I was you know doing a lot more auditions and wanted to be on screen, right? And I was just always surprised when people said they would get nervous if they were on screen with such and such. I'm like, why? I'm like, you know, if I had a scene with J Lo or Holly Berry, I wouldn't. I don't think I would get nervous, right? I but think now, later on in my life, I feel that I would be nervous. Yeah, you're trying to live up to the expectation because you've seen like. They're A-listers. Yeah. But, I'm a, but I'm an A-list. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're first you're not. What you laughing at, Al? Right 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 what are we laughing at? I'm glad how hey. adamant he is. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you're going into it. You're I'm, trying to get to the A-list, but then it's like you want you don't, you don't want to you don't, don't want to mess up. Right. You don't want to mess up the line. You don't right. want to, you know, and that's uh, part spit of on it too. That's, that's the, the fun, growth, though, man. The like growth of it. when those nerves and that those butterflies aren't there, right? Then you need to get out the game and do something because mm. that that's that's the fun part. For me, like oh, I've it. done stuff like that, and it actually it makes me focus more, hone in more. That like, yeah. yeah, I want to be on point. You know what I mean? The, I when the pressure is on, on, the delivery of the line, then you yeah. don't want to be stepping on, you know, talking over them, this, that, and the other. Man, like I said. Going to class and yeah. understanding what you're supposed to do, yeah. what environment you're in. Like, I can, like you said, I know what it's like to write, feel nervous because you don't want to be like the, the weak link in the room. Yeah. yeah. You want to bring like, up. Get him out of here. That's <laughs> right. Like, yeah. like, Direct to kick you is off. Is he set. ready for this? <laughs> right, exactly. Like, is he ready for this moment? Like, the Super Bowl comes around. It's the Super Bowl. I'm like, you, you know, y'all do this week in, week out since you was kids. Right. But this is a big stage. It's a big moment. Yeah. Cameras. Everybody's quiet. Yeah, Everybody like the, the the lead up to it, the yeah. anticipation of it. You are gonna have it. Right. Right. But as soon as that first, soon as it goes, yeah. then all that's done. Yeah. Right. Once then then let's do it. Yeah. Have you but, ever had that mistake? You know, with, with somebody on scene, you're like, oh yeah, I should. They might fire me today. No, I, I fell flat on my face. Really? What, what Countless times. I'm not gonna talk about the yeah. projects. Okay. Y'all gonna go down and look <laughs> like I've been clean edited out of projects that I, you know, can't wait for it to come out and you see it come awesome. out. It's like, damn, I was bad. Mm -hmm. I was bad and you but know I, I think people need to hear that though. Yeah. They're not gonna always just no, go have no. success. And that, that's the you learn more from your adversities and like right. why did I fall on my face? Yes. Right. Why was I terrible? All right, yeah. take that or getting a call from your manager when you go in for an audition and the casting agent said he's not ready. He's green. 
He needs work. Okay. Okay, right. tough what, talk. What do you right. do? When you <laughs> feel you like do? you're ready, though. Like, I, I, you know, you, you know, always you, feel you like you're ready. ready. <laughs> right. But it, it just wasn't you. to the level of, and that's the part of the maturation, the growth. You just, there's levels to this. Mm -hmm. What held me, like, when I was doing good at this level and I'm killing it at this level, now you got to step graduate. up over here. You gotta graduate. What I was doing down there ain't working. It's going to take working. a new version of me. Yep. And every level we go up, it's going to take a new version of yourself yep. to you know, to step up and, and to respond like to them. Going through high school, going through grade yeah. school, you know what I mean? You have to promote yourself. You already got to pass this. You're ready for college. Pass and, that. Yeah. You know what like, y'all playing, like, high school, you, you're you the all-star. You're the all-state, all-world, all-whatever. And then you get to college, damn, everybody's fast as me. Everybody's yeah. all-state. You know, everybody's all-world. Then you, know you get up to the NFL, and it's like it's like you stepping on the freeway. Yeah, right. yeah faster. Yeah. Faster. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's like there's levels. Then you, the people in the NFL, you're there. You're the top 1%. Like, yeah. I played football. I, did, I wasn't good enough. Right. Then you get the all stars in the NFL, yeah, the Pro Bowl. Right. Now, yeah, you Pro get the elite. You know, the all get the, league. The, the, the best of the best. You there's get the levels. Point of elite status. Yeah. And then, like I said, somebody that's obviously just starting out, like I said, you may have a great audition, you know what I mean, to get the role. And then, like I said, you get in there front of those lights. Damn. You, know, you get intimidated with. You're in the headlights. Right. Yeah. You're whom, whomever you're on set with. Then you know, it, it could be a little shaky. And yeah. auditions and the job are night and day. Night and day. I know yeah. people that Tell are people great. Tell people about that. They they're don't auditioners. Really understand yeah, that. they're professional yeah. auditioners, and they're they killed the audition. You even seen the tape. Like, damn, who is that? This dude. How come he ain't? You know. Right. Why ain't he doing such and such? And then you see him on. Why on, isn't he? You know, on the day. Like, wait, that's not the same, same. guy from the... <laughs> I, think right. that, I think that was me. <laughs> from I think the, that was me. And then you get the, the vice versa of that, the people that do bomb, all, the bomb and fall on their face in auditions. And get in front of you the see them on, on the stage. day and like, damn, this dude's brilliant. Yeah. And it's just both of them are their own separate fields and you have to be really good at both of them. Right. Yeah, Unless well, you're an A-list actor where you're getting scripts thrown to you right. and like, no, 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 or, maybe. Right. Yeah, I'll do that one. For that's context it. in football, it's like, don't be a flash in the pan. Yeah. You know I mean, yeah. you get in practice, you doing balling everything. Balling out. You yeah. balling out. It's you all world. Like yeah. you get, they ain't dropping nothing. You fundamentally sound. You doing everything. And then game day. You get in front of that crowd. Everything. Yeah. Ooh, and the you lights get in front is of on. Like fifty thousand. Yeah. It's, it's different. different. It's different, man. I, and I, then I, you got that eye on you. You got and you know, you're you do everything in your acting classes like, I got it. Mm -hmm. You know, you're rehearsing at the house. I got it. Yeah. And then you're opposite Sam Elliott, and he puts the piercing eyes on you, and you're like, right, you're in I, the what, moment. What, you got to go in the character. Line? Line? Where's, where's script at? Where's the script supervisor? <laughs> so, well, your only line is the. Right. <laughs> the. So Hatch always, you know, asks, you know, Hatch always asks, her, like, what prepares you for those moments? Okay, yes. you get in that moment. You got to ask for your line. Maybe it's one or two or three times. Yeah. With some of the techniques, some of the classes, some of the teachers that you've had, is do you go back to your trailer just to re, just to collect yourself, or that breathing techniques that you need to do to get back on par, to get back on on track? What prepared me for those those situations is falling on my face early, mm -hmm. like being opposite people that weren't the big names, but I'm still dropping lines and I still can't. You know, the moment the camera's on me, oh wow. These cameras aren't in class, you know, like, they oh, bright. wow, there's the like is bright. all the crew and everyone's waiting, you know, they're trying to break for lunch and you got to, I'm holding, I'm gumming up the works right now. Falling on your face in those moments when the, the spotlight isn't on you, like as far as the public and you're a big name, mm -hmm. it taught me to how I need to prepare going into this. And mm -hmm. the bigger levels, the bigger jobs, it's still, it's the same kind of preparation. It's mm -hmm. just bigger names involved. And I try to visualize each if I see certain scenes on, on, you know, on page and I'm looking at it, I visualize in my head the day and how it's going to look like auto suggestion in my subconscious. I'll try to and then I'll get to the set when we're at, when we're actually shooting and I'm looking around like, OK, I want to see it before I shoot. This is kind of how I, you know, I visualized it. And on the day, it's going to be something completely totally different, different. But yeah. I'm already Visualize. I've already played this game in right. my head already. Right. And yeah. that's the thing with athletes, too. Like for me, I coaches all like I, said, I think that helped me. Not really being like a, we just talked about being a top athlete, you know, coming out of high school, yeah. or college, or something like that. I was never that guy. So when you talk about visualizing, you know, putting yourself in the moment when that time comes, I think that helps prepare you for when it does come. Like I said, they're going to be tweaks. Everything's not going to yeah. be as scripted. It'll never be, be never. as you how you envision it. But never. 
if you have worked out different scenarios, right. if you got a good foundation, yep. I'm not going to get thrown right now. Right. I'm going right. to be ready for whatever. And you got to know, like, we're comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah. Right. So you throw something at me, I'll figure it out. But all this isn't just blindsiding me. Right. Like, right. I got a good base. And I think that the, the the phrase you just used there, being comfortable, being uncomfortable, I think that's probably like Major. the best phrase you can use in that type of setting yeah. is being on set and going into acting. Yeah. Because there are going to be moments, you're if, be you're, if you're an actor, you're going to be uncomfortable. You're going to be uncomfortable. At some point. Like yeah. You but it. you have to be comfortable. How you, yeah. yeah. How do you know how to use that? Like yep. those butterflies, there's, you know, you hear butterflies like, oh, you get, butterflies are good. It's yeah. keeping me on, yeah. on my game, yeah. right? right? There's I mean, good you, good nerves, good, good, you know, you take that and and you know how to use that to help you in the situation. And Bad the butterflies are, Bad. you know. Yeah. You, uh, Forgetting, yeah, the stuff. Line, and, and, like, right, you're right. That's the <laughs> bad one. <laughs> right, and I think that's 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 the beauty of uh, of this craft of, 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 of acting is that, like I said, the audience and the ones that, that watch us and even just athletes watch us perform – we make it look effortless, and then they again they don't understand. You, they don't they don't see the t- the outrage. Yeah. You know what I mean? They don't see all the slip ups. They see the the top right. of the glacier. Yeah, yeah. right. They you know, they, yeah, they right. don't see the mountain underneath of yeah. the failures. Right. They see what's yeah. what's shining up here. Right. And then a lot of that too is being on set and being around these big name actors. And you see them fluff a line. They do it too. And you see them they mess up, and you're too. like, wait. And they just keep going. They're not perfect. All we see at home is the, you know, the finished product. Right. Like, I bet yeah. they do that. Ten, I, no, they don't. Unless no. they have access to Netflix or they have the the bloopers behind the, the scenes, <laughs> behind yeah. the scenes, and or if and you we stay only see some of those right. anyway. Or, and sometimes in some movies that if you stay there long enough after the credits, yeah. you know what I mean? You get to see show, the, the screw yeah, ups. The outtakes, yeah. You and those are so important. When it just it it calms you and it grounds you like. They're not perfect. They're human. They're just, they put their socks on one at a time. And occasionally you get that one actor like, nope, I slide both of mine on. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just that good. I wake up and I recite Shakespeare. But I think that's good that they do that, especially when when they roll the credits and they get to see the bloopers and and the the, the, the But but even those bloopers, you're seeing one or two. They've done 50. Right. That's what what I'm saying. (laughs) Exactly. And then you really, you've, you've watched the whole entire movie and then you remember those scenes like, oh, damn, it took them that long to, to say that, that, to do yeah. that. And then you but get around you. those really, really good actors, and it's, you know, they're just, they can't get it right. They can't get it right, and then they, they'll they say this out loud, like, all we need is one. Uh-huh. All we need is one. Come on. And they <laughs> get, but that one it takes is, it is lot gold. Of, like, you want an it, Oscar right. off that. All we need is one. All we need is one. And they got it. Deliver. But the nine before that. Yeah. Couldn't get it right. So when your manager came to you and was like, um, you're going to need more time when the cast and director called and said you weren't ready yet. Like, tell us about that evening. Like, what know? does that feel like? What does that feel the, like? Are you dejected or do you like? I've, I've always been be straight up with me. Yeah. Like with my, with my reps, with yeah. casting, like don't blow smoke up my butt. Like, hey, you're, you know, know, and then they turn around like, let me know what I need to do, and Be I realistic. take it at the class, and I and I and I figure it out. And I have, I'm humility based. Mm-hmm. I have no, my ego is done. I I came into the game with the ego, didn't work for me. And the go. the more wow. I learned how my ego was getting in my own way and wow. help, you know. So what made you have an ego? Because I wouldn't, I would have never thought that you went into it with an ego. So what made you ha- have yes. an ego? Everywhere you go, you succeed. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, I, and everything that I've tried in the past, it, I've done well at it. Might not have made it to the top, but I've done really well. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you just, you have a, you just feel confident about yourself. No, like, let me, let me ask Being you overconfident this. is what Talk, you're saying. Oh, yeah. How, how, the sports side, the, the slam ball. Yeah. Right? You were a great player. In I was the man ball. in slam ball. The man, right? Yeah. So did that maybe have something to do with like, I can, if I did this, I can definitely go do this. I've just felt overly confident about everything that I've. I haven't tried golf. I heard that's humbling. That, that's something different. <laughs> golf will humble. I, yeah, I know what I'm good at, so I, I'm only gonna you stay partake. in your lane. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna partake in things that I know that I'm decent at, and I know I can progressively get better at in a short period of time. Yeah. Okay. And it's and with me, I didn't want to get in acting classes when I first got out here. Like, I ran in circles where I knew uh, big-name actors, yeah. entertainers, producers, Bob. Like, 
And they were like, we're going to put you in this. So we they have, just cut we the have a great look. You. Yeah, they, you know, I see angles. They're going to help mm -hmm. me bypass all the. I don't want to go through all that. Right. I want to do it your way. You're right. going to put me in this movie. You're going to, I'm going to be an action star. I'm going to do this. And year after year after year, you realize none of way. that's happening. No shortcuts. You got to do what you don't want to do to achieve what you want to achieve. And what sure. I didn't want to do was acting. Mm -hmm. Or uh, what I didn't want to do was, was get an acting class. Right. So I'm like, and all my buddies I see, you know, I started out doing commercials and stuff like that, which, you know, you show up, you have a look, you're good personality. Yeah, you'll get this commercial. I'm getting commercials. I'm making money. And the guys that I was doing commercials with got in acting classes. I didn't know they were in it, but, you know, they got in it. Mm -hmm. Then they're starting to do guest stars. Then they're leading movies. And I'm like, wait, they were How'd just. How that happen? They were, we were just, just in the same circle. Yeah, we was yeah. all there. You guys, they leaving me. They leaving me. And I'm like, I talk to them. And they're like, you got to get an acting class, man. You got to learn the craft. I'm like, man, I don't want to do that. Like, you know, I, 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 yeah. Time consuming. Everybody yeah. wants the now. The, the, I mean? the right now. And it's like once I realized like my way wasn't working, it was like my early 30s mm -hmm. where I was like, my way isn't working. Mm. All right, let me um, let me let me do this acting thing. And soon as I got into an acting class, there was a girl, there was a woman that was my scene partner in the class and her manager was there just checking on her, you know. Yep. And me and her had a scene together, and he was like, who's that guy? Mm -hmm. I got my manager that night. I've been wow. with him for the last 15 years. Awesome. And me and him have bounced around, and we've been a different— now we're with a really good agency. You know, it's— but being somewhere that I didn't want to be is where my career Took started you. to take off. Yep. So it's the like uncomfortable that— Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Like, being acting class right was, right was uncomfortable for me, mm -hmm. and you got to do it. You got to do it. And it, it happened. Because, again, people have to understand, like, you're going to have to go through something. I mean, it's going to some, cost you. It's going to cost you something. Yeah. Because you're just never going to get to that pinnacle of anything at any level of any sport, entertainment, nothing without going through It that. has to cost you something. And even a free trip to a oasis paradise yeah. is going to cost you your time. Yep. It's got to cost you something. Yep. And once you realize that and you know, like, all right, let's uh, – Let's start from the bottom. Let's, I'm, you know, no ego. Yep. Got my humility. They said I'm terrible. Why am I terrible? Yes. All right, talk to my acting coaches. Go back to the lab. Yeah, let's, uh, let's fix this. And, like, slowly working my way up got me to a position to where I know what works for me. I know what doesn't work for me. I know what I have to, distractions that I have to stay away from. Mm -hmm. uh, going out, parties, friends, like, the, all the distractions yep. I took out made this over here so much clearer mm -hmm. that it was now it's just like yeah how come you know it's easy how come I wasn't doing that that's it's right. a no-brainer now like, yeah now because you you got it through but you had to yeah you had to take off all that stuff that was getting in your own way and you don't know that until you you start taking it off and see how it's, right. it's messing so with now you. it seems like you've you've worked your way up the ladder you know, yeah you've started from the bottom and you've I'm getting there, yeah. Right. So no, 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 yeah. So like, it's, it's 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 a progression. What's the end goal for you? You you're now, like I said, I'm hearing you talk right. about the being on set with the notable yeah. notable names. But that is now it? you're in that space. Is it Superman, that, that's, that's, that, Iron Man, right? Batman. That's a sense of accomplishment. Okay, so what's what's next for La Monica? Is it getting on a uh, in, in a film? Uh, doing a script or what have you, is it pushing to be uh, to have an Oscar performance? Performance, or is it director, writer, producer? As I well? haven't, yeah, uh, producing. I'd produce something. I didn't like it. I'm not a fan. Maybe in the future it will be directing. Eh. Um, but I had goals when I started, and what I'm doing now, I kind of met. Most of those goals. Okay, yes, I'm saying. So now, like, yeah, I, I can tell you. You know, you've reached, I've reached, I've, a I've reached a level where I'm like, wow, if you told me back then I was doing this now, I'd be like, I made it. But I don't right. feel like I made it, but, right. you know, I know where I came from. I've also learned, you know, through the journey that the journey is the destination. Yes. So yeah. I'm enjoying where it's going. Yes. Like, there's stuff that I'd like to do. Right. Do you want to push yourself to the limit of I, doing it out of your comfort zone to, like I said, to, like you just mentioned, like, Getting an Oscar performing, you know. An Oscar would be amazing. An Emmy would be amazing. Like, it would, but if I don't get it. Right, yeah, that's not the still, end goal. I mean, that's, yeah. not, that's not the end all be all. But, again, like you said, you're working your way up, and it seems like just talking to you, like you said, you're meeting those goals. You're chipping and chipping away at different things as you kind of perfect your craft. Absolutely. 
I think the next goal that I have would be something like to lead an action series. Mm. Okay. To be the lead of an action, not one of the pieces. A the lead. lead. Okay. To be the lead of an action. And that's okay. like a, a, a right now goal. Uh, but a day-to-day goal for me, and this is how I started building my career, was trying to be the best version of me. Mm. And once you're you're honing in on you, you're okay. the what doesn't matter. At all. Like before, the what was like, I want to do this, and I want, you know, like even casting directors and, and auditions, like, all right, what are they looking for? Mm-hmm. I, I was mm-hmm. trying everything, but I was never being. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Once I stopped trying and started being. That's when you started blossoming. And everything just like, it just, everything's been falling into place. Like I would never imagine being a, a cowboy in the last series that I was in. That wasn't even on my radar. Right, right. But, you, but just you being. And you killed it. And that's it was one of my favorite roles ever. I would never imagine working opposite Nicole Kidman and Zoe Saldana, but just being and just, right, this right. is my version and my right, take right. of this character. I hope you guys like it. Yeah. Not what you guys want, what's written on the page. Right. This is. It's me. This is me. Right. right. You you want to know how you know when you made it? When you on get your popcorn ready. Get your popcorn oh, ready. That's when you know you made it, my guy. <laughs> I'm here, man. There you there. Yeah, tell yeah, them yeah. again. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We outside. We inside. Get your popcorn ready, boy. Already. My mom, her old advice always was like, when I wasn't working, I was just starting. She was, yeah, call Oprah. She'll have some. Uh, yeah, Ma, come on in. Right, I didn't I think, didn't of, think that, of that, Ma. You're right. Just call right. up over. Right. Yeah, she's so, been waiting on my call. So people coming out here. So where are you from originally? San Francisco. San Fran. So people coming out here, they say, hey, I'm going to give this acting thing two years. I'm going to give it four. I'm going to give it a year. Do you look at them and like, that's not it? Because as you know, you got to come out here and just go all in. And when it happens, it happens. Yeah. If you're giving yourself a limit. You might as well just not even get started. Yeah, don't even. Um, it's it's a war of attrition out here, and like, people win the lottery. Facts, so you know, true, like true. there's you know there's been certain actors like walking down the street. I think Channing Tatum had one of those stories. Yep. They're like, yeah, you got a good look. Come be in this commercial. Whatever. It work like there. that for everybody. Yeah, that yeah. like that's it's not a the norm. Ticket, yeah. So if you go out there expecting that, that to happen, you're that gonna happened. be disappointed. Right. If you go out there and look, I'm a I'm a I got no time limit on this. I'm going to put the work in. I'm going a, I'm to a be disciplined. I'm not going to do a lot. You know, L.A.'s it's a sparkly city. Yes, sir. I mean, if you all could, that glitter is not gold. If you can make it out here in any field yep. with all the distractions L.A.'s thrown at you, you deserve to be wherever you at because yep. this city is a beast. New York, same way. Yep. Uh, but you can't put a time limit on it. You just right. got to go and you got to. It seems like Endure. you have yourself in check. You understand the reality of things. And I always t- say, too, to, you know, when I'm speaking to kids or even, you know, moms and dads that come to me or what have you about their kids doing certain things. And it could be applicable to, to you know, people working nine to five, CEOs, entrepreneurs. I always tell them, even, even in, in relationships. Align your expectations with reality. Yeah, man. When you do that, mm. you will never Preach be disappointed. it, brother. When you, mm. Trust me, you yeah. will never be disappointed. You're rarely disappointed. When you align your expectations with reality, you will never, you'll never be disappointed. Most people can't And that's do that. what I honestly, I think that for me, that's, that's what allowed me or enabled me to be, go from like an average, you know, receiver to a good receiver to, to be, you know, n- mentioned as one of the great receivers. Because as I you man- were, as right. you are, yeah. Because I managed my own expectations, and I was a realist about yeah. my skill set. And like you said, you know, it's probably sometimes like to hear your manager say, "Oh, they you didn't have what they, they you ain't ready yet." <laughs> yeah, that could be damaging to somebody's psyche. You know what I mean? It could be de- de- be depressing depending yeah. on how, depending on how 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 how, how handle that. yeah how, how real, real you are with yourself. 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 Yeah, exactly yeah. what I'm Awareness. trying to say. And then like I said, if you grow. With that thick skin, grow up with that thick skin, and you can handle it. And then sometimes, yeah. like I said, we talk about how football kind of prepares you for certain things. Yeah, like, for failure. I mean? Yeah, and so yeah, so, yes. I, so I had to me. rewire my brain too to understand what wins are, because coming up, it's just a scoreboard. Yep. Like, mm-hmm. did you win or lose? Like, right. did you get the job? Was the end all be all? Right. When in this business, Not it, that. the win is, hey, I got a call back. Cool. Somebody likes me up there. Didn't get the job. Right, but I, got I went in there, got a call back. Taking hey, those small th- victories. Th- th- you take your wins as you – it's not did I get the job or bust and I'm going to be distraught because I didn't get it. Yeah. I got a second call back. It's down to me and three people. Mm-hmm. Casting said they love me, but I'm not right for the role. You're making fans all over the city, mm-hmm. and this isn't the only job you're auditioning for. Mm-hmm. This isn't their only job they're going to do. Mm-hmm. You're making fans everywhere, and that became the job was to make fans. I don't mm-hmm. give a damn what the job is right now. I'm here to make a fan out of y'all. 
Sam Jackson, he went and read for Reservoir Dogs. That's Reservoir, and he, wild, they said his audition was like, you know. Who are you? Yeah, what's this guy? Like, he, I don't think he's reading from the right script. <laughs> yeah. But Tarantino was like, huh. I see something. There's, so when he wrote Pulp Fiction, he wrote it for that one guy that came in for Reservoir. He wasn't even a name yet. Out the box. He wrote it for Sam Jackson, and, and Pulp Fiction happened, and that's, it's not just about the job right now. It's right. about the future. You're always auditioning. You're always You're auditioning. Always auditioning. Yeah. You know what I mean? And nothing happens in a yeah. vacuum. Just keep doing a good job. It's just how you do bad, and you're always looking over your shoulder. Like, if you keep running yellow lights, somebody's going to hit you. Right, you know, right. if you keep doing good, it doesn't happen in a vacuum. Like, it'll come back around. You just got to keep working hard and keep your head straight. Right. What's the best uh, piece of advice you've gotten so far throughout your career? Uh, how how you do anything is how you do everything. Mm-hmm. You can't cut corners. You know, if you um, you're at this job right now that you don't like, you still gotta be professional. You gotta you gotta put your all into it because if you think I'm not gonna put my all into this and I'm gonna go over here when something I want to do, we're still gonna you. be cutting corners and you don't realize it because you've been cutting corners and everything else. Yep. If you do everything 100, percent that work ethic follows no matter what it is. If you're gonna be a janitor, you're gonna be the best janitor in the city. Mm-hmm. If you're going to work at Pepsi, you're going to be the best employee. Work ethic follows you around no matter what you're doing. Yep. But it starts with the little day-to-day habits. Mm-hmm. If you got bad habits throughout the day, they're not going to turn good once oh, you're in a so. position, you know, to do something that you want to do. I use the analogy, too, of of, of, of people, like, cause especially kids, you know, that they, they, they equate, you know, being a superstar, you know, they, they think of money, success, right, right. jewelry, cars, the, the the, the, the material things. Right. And I was like, okay, if you want all these things, I said, you got to treat your crap, you know, treat it like a bank account. You're only going to get out of it what you put into it. Man, preach. Yeah. I don't think you finna put a, a hundred, hundred dollars in the in, in the bank. And go get Gucci. And then, right. Yeah. And yeah. Then I think you finna go uh, buy a $500, you know, whatever product. It doesn't work It doesn't like work that, that yeah. way. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's what I always try to tell kids. You kind of help them kind of conceptualize you know, what it is that we as football players, what we have to go through. And then just the work that you have to put into it yeah. to get to where we are. You know what I mean? And they don't see that work. Nope. No. Like they, they see the, you know, you scoring the touchdowns and the so celebration. On and Sunday. The, like, they see the fun <laughs> stuff. Like, it took years, out, countless hours, 10, weeks, hours. months, years of honing my craft when nobody was looking to get to this point where I'm at now, and you guys are seeing the benefits of it, but yeah, they just see, yeah, they see the finished product. You know, they don't yeah, see the it. in between and the, what goes on, the getting up in the morning, the, the making sure you're you're taking care of your body, the nutrition. All your buddies are going out, but right? Going you, out, but yeah, you got to stay home. You got to right, study. Studying. You got to get up in the morning, hit the gym. Yeah. When everybody else is coming home drunk, yeah, you're the first one. Yeah, it's here. Speaking about your studying again, I was, um, I never got scripts that I could like read and know just like that like I had to go over it and over it and over it like talk to the audience a little bit how's your studying habits when you get a script are you one that has to do it read it a hundred times before you know it uh are the words not important to you like speak to the audience a little bit about that. I get a project I read a script I'll read the whole script once without caring who my character right. is or reading what, just reading just, just to yeah, get just a feel for the story get it, the, the tone Understand, you yeah. know what's going on in this you're still, like you said, you're visualizing, you're picturing. Seeing this, yeah, because we're, I I visualize everything. Right. And I'm, right. I have a great imagination. Right, right. <laughs> you know, I'll read the script and then, all right, this could, use, this could use work over here. This could be this. This could be that. Then I look at the character. I go back and read it with my character in mind, the relationships of who's around. Okay. Then I'll go back and read it and just isolate the scenes of what I'm doing. Okay. And... That's before I even got the job. Yep. That's for the audition. Then the audition, you once you got the job, then I just I just reread, I read, I read, I read, I keep going over it. Then it's the you get to do the research. Mm-hmm. All right, who is this guy? Like designated survivor. I got to meet, you know, um Secret Service agents. Mm-hmm. Like the real Secret Service. Okay. We got to go to the White House and meet Obama's um detail. Service, yeah, his yeah. detail. Mm-hmm. And then you start, you know, fine tuning where the Secret Service come from. Oh, Secret Service got established back when Abraham Lincoln, before he was assassinated, he was the one that gave the Secret Service credibility. They were watching him. And then Secret Service, you know, Pinkerton agents turned into that whole, the whole history yeah, right. of the, you know, Secret Service. But all that research is fun. And you, that's my favorite part of the job. Between that and between action and cut 
are my two favorite parts about getting getting a job. Right. Is the research you get to put in, learning about all this stuff, and actually doing the job. Yeah. So the layers you get to add. Yeah. 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 And then you put your fingerprint on it. Right. Your own. Like right now, recently I've been doing a lot of military. Yep. Like the last four or five years, I'm a big dude. Got a jawline that screams protect me, so yeah. <laughs> you know, I'll do it. Uh, but I I play at all different branches. I, right now I'm playing a military, um, a Marine Marsoc, like a Marine Raider agent. Mm -hmm. um, I've played a Navy SEAL. I've played a commander. I've played a lieutenant in the Navy, you know. Mm -hmm. And you learn about all these guys. My you dad, got the look. <laughs> <laughs> my dad was in the Army. He, okay. you know, won the Bronze Star. My brother and my sister-in-law, I come from a, a military family, so I get to pick their brains. I'm going to say. Right, so you, yeah. But you do pick their brains. Right? I, oh, you, absolutely. You hit them up. You, you, that's, that's part of your research. Yeah. It's going into character. Right. You got well, no, I'm yeah. just telling for the, the character you need to, to life. If yeah, those no, no, things no, no, yeah. are at your fingertips, use Everything it, around you. You're probably getting to use it that somebody else is not getting to use that information. And that's what makes yours different yes. than everybody. It's your fingerprint. It's you. And I'll even be on set, like with, the, with Lioness we just finished filming. We had a bunch of military consultants around, and it was a scene that we were doing, and I'm like, wait a minute. You know what would be good for this? I went and ran like our, our armor guy, Russ, he was, uh, he was in the Marines. Mm -hmm. I'm like, would a Marine say this? And he was like, absolutely. Done. I'd come back, use that in the scene. The yes. director comes out. I like that. Yep. Yeah, let's, let's go with Starts that. Starts from the truth. Mm -hmm. Man, it's, it's using truth. who's around you, your whatever you got. Yeah. Use using it. your resources. Yeah. yeah. And again, because I think those people have to understand, like, it'll be easier for you if you use what's around you. Yeah. It's not all about imagination. It's yeah. just, again, call your family members, call your friends. Uh, call an old teacher, whatever it may be. Might yeah. be calling an old football player. Who knows? But it's like Why they have, have to be to, old. Uh, <laughs> old. Yeah, yeah. That'd be old football player. Fits, dog. You know what I'm old saying? <laughs> but I want. Why can't you just call a fellow football player? <laughs> I gotta be an old football old football player, player. old baller. Um, but I think like they don't understand like that's what's at your fingertips, and that's yeah. what'll make it like you said different. Because you don't want to be again the hundred dudes in there look just yeah. like you. So you walking in there looking like everybody else. You yeah. don't want to bring a, a character yeah, that's like everybody, everybody else. Everybody knows what's on the page yep. without doing their own reading. It's going to sound like, like a bunch of carbon else. copied everything. Yeah. And the producers and the directors are going to be sitting there like this during your reads because they heard this the last eight auditions. Yes. And yeah. then one dude is going to come in and do something different. Oh. Right. Like, yeah. 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 Uh, let's read again. Yeah. What, what was that thing you did? Yeah. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. what's what's something you came up with in the moment that you like? Yeah, that was good. Like was a, a swipe of the brow, uh, you know, whatever, turning your shoulder. What is something small, but you like? Yeah, that that put the cherry on top. I uh, I'll do some taglines here. Okay, that wasn't on the page. Uh -huh. Like yep, have some bit. funny okay. little. Because a lot of people there. are scared to ad lib now. Yeah, that's the freedom you have when you just when you know you're being authentic and you're being your genuine yep. self. Yep. And this is. What I'm bringing to this, okay. feel free to ad lib. Okay. There are some people that'll be like, no ad libs, just what's on the page. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's like, hey, you got okay, it. Okay, you got it. Let's, 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 you know, I, I was with. Stick to the script. Yeah, I'm not going to no say who, yeah. but I was reading for one show, and this guy is known for being word for word. You can't. Ch Don't change if it's, nothing. If it's, you know, if it says the art and you say the art, you know, it'll, like, no. he wants it said a certain way, done a certain way. Verbatim. Verbatim. He's sitting here. I'm reading with the casting director. I'm over there. While he's sitting here, he's not looking at me. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm reading with casting. I see him over there doing this, looking at the page. Okay. It was, it's like a, a song to him. Like yep, he's composing. Yep, like yep. this is. There's a rhythm are, to it. This is a rhythm to it. Mm -hmm. And if you break that rhythm. His eyes pop. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, Nick. You break that rhythm. <laughs> my bad. Let's take it from the top. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But That's some people funny. give you freedom to, you to know, to ad lib. Yeah, yeah, to break the rhythm. Like, they want to see what you bring because the page only can tell so much. Right. Yeah, yeah, they'll have you sometimes, yeah, stick to the strip. Yeah. And then they'll do a take, like, do it how you would do it. Yeah, do it we got what it. we want in the can. Yeah. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, yeah, let's play it. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because it's, sometimes they may use that. You never and know. Absolutely. nine times out of ten, they do. They that's, use when it. that's when you're most comfortable. And that's when they. Relaxed. That's why they hire you yes, to, to bring you. what you bring. Right. Yes. Otherwise, anybody could. You know, yeah. you hire somebody with the best memory just yeah. to say all these lines. That's why I come to the show. Man, I got to bring some energy to the show. That, you the flavor. You, you know, know what okay. I got to bring it to the LL. show. You know? don't, don't play that. That's why we do this. That's why I get your popcorn ready. You know what I mean? We don't play that. We don't play that at all. 
are, are you okay? So again, you're a seasoned actor now. Are you confident enough to give uh, like a bigger name a note during the scene? Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah, because again, I'm, I'm, if, if Zoe if Zoe does something, you, there, there's something that's gonna go. I'm like, oh, if she did this, I think it'd be hot. But would you actually say it? I wouldn't initiate it. <laughs> but I've been on sets where some big names are they like ask. they come over to you like, yeah, what do you think I was doing this? Yeah. Then you'll give your opinion. Try this. Right. But nobody wants to be the one to come like, you know, yeah, everything you did was cool, but yeah, it's not going to work. All right, yeah. <laughs> Especially if you're not the director. And you're not like, <laughs> who the hell? Like, like, it's, it's, not, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Yeah. It, 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 and you ain't going to say nothing to him. You're not, like not going to be Denzel. on a scene with Denzel, so don't <laughs> even worry about it. Don't even, like, you ain't got to worry about like, that. I would have been like, Denzel, you should have... Just do it Do it this way. So you went like this, you should be like this. <laughs> right, exactly. I was like, yo, did that, why don't you just try it like this? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, I don't, I don't know if I'm like, like you, you, you think I should do it like that, T? That's uh, how you think I should do it? See. Is that how you think I should do it? See. That's that Denzel. That's that Denzel. That's, that's that not Denzel. That's Denzel on crack. Right <laughs> that ain't Denzel. It, well, well, Denzel it, it could be. Ish. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I'm not at that point to, to, to correct or like, oh, you know. Shits and giggles, try this. No, I don't no. know if I, but if you ask, then you'll because I have opinions. opinions. Right, right. I just don't, you know, force right. them on, yeah. on right, right, folks. Right. Yeah. But. I mean, I've I've always wondered that because again, it's like I know you think it though. Yeah, that's no, the you, whole thing. And you see an actor doing something, you're like, yeah. huh. And then you know they say cut, and the director comes over and says, and you're like, I want to listen to every single note to everybody. Yeah, what, 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 what's what, he, what are you telling her? Huh. What are you telling me? Him? I'd be like, well, if, depending on what they're saying, I'd be like, well, well, what about this? What do you think if he... No, you can't do that. You can't? No, no. No? You can't. You cannot. They will, yeah, yeah, they yeah. will like, hey, we don't want to work with him. They, they, text it. they won't tell you to your that's face. That's it, man. back to my <laughs> So Some actors would be, how... Dare you? <laughs> are you mad? Do I'm you like, know? Are you mad, sir? I'm a thespian. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm. Yeah, there's a fine line there. But there's there's right actors there. that like that they their, their humility they wear it on their sleeves. Yeah, and they're like, hey man, if you well, see something they're comfortable with themselves, they'll take notes from anybody in the room and be good enough to actually add. Them. And, and it's about the great, art. It's about the, it's about the exactly. product. Right. When you do it and it's about the product, not about the individual, yes. everybody here wants this yeah. project to be the best it can be. Yeah. And on 1883, that was rampant. Mm. Actors, well-known actors good. coming up like, yeah, you know, what do you think of this? And, you know, how, how, what would you do if you were like, yeah, you know, you were, you were crouching down like this. Try going on one knee. It's a strong, you know, Stronger. instead Stronger. of crouching. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's little stuff. Yeah. Everybody there can act, but it's right. all little, little things. technical so, things. Like that, Denzel will listen to you if he was a football coach in a movie. And you're like, the receiver wouldn't do that on the He was like, oh, oh, well, cool. But if you're like, you know, he was a doctor and, you know, saving a kid. And you're like, hey, Denzel, I don't think you need to cry on this scene. He would slap the mess out of you. Denzel say, cut. <laughs> No, he a doctor. Run that by me again. <laughs> As a doctor, you have to be professional, so you shouldn't be crying. No, no, see? No. No, you on the, cry. If on the paper it says cry, does that mean cry? No, it doesn't mean cry. No, it, it means show pain. Possibly, yeah, it, shows but it doesn't mean actually cry. Emotion, tears. Like, and that takes a veteran tears. actor, a seasoned actor, to know like just because it's written this way and just because the stage right. direction is this. Just because there's an exclamation point here, it doesn't mean you got to yell. Because right. the scene may not <laughs> you know, call. The scene may yeah. not call and, for and that. Even Anything, though it says that, it's going to take on a whole different life of whole itself. Different right. so, you see how I interpreted that? See, I'm good. I'd be a good I, actor. Man. I, yeah, I, you see how I interpreted that? That was great interpretation, dog, based on what you guys had just talked about. <laughs> and you know what I would have said? We'll call you. Don't call us. That's, uh, that's fine. You know, we'll that's call cool. you. Don't call that's us. Cool. That's cool. That's cool. Next. That's cool. You tell them wait by the phone. Yeah, wait yeah. by the phone. We'll call you. Don't yeah. call us. Lose that number. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what that girl said to you the other day, too. <laughs> I'll call me. I'll call, call you. you. Mm -hmm. So what's after Lioness? What's after, What's the next, uh, you know, just audition? Maybe create something yourself? Like, what's, uh, the, what's the next And when piece? is Lioness coming out? Lioness will be out this summer. Uh, they don't have a uh, premiere date yet. We just finished maybe a week and a half right. ago. Okay. Uh, By the time we so air this, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. hopefully yeah. it'll we'll have be some, ready some stuff out. then. Mm -hmm. I did a project with uh, Billy Zane down in Atlanta with Quavo. Mm -hmm. Quavo and Offset. Nice. Before he, you know, before he passed. Yeah, wow. before he, nice. And it was like a graphic novel kind of. You remember that that um, the movie Sin City? 
Yeah, of course. The, the cartoonish, the yeah. graphic kind yep. of the people behind that. Yep. Did this project, so it's going to cool. be one of those about street racing culture in Atlanta. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Quavo, Billy Zane, my buddy Martin. Um, really good cast. Okay. We already did that. That'll be out. Not sure when, but Lioness. It's the first season, so yep. they've got me television wise. TV. I mean, film. We'll see what happens. Right, right. You know, I, I got Two nothing different now. And I, right I, you know, wake up in the morning and be like, hey, you got to go to Australia for a month. Yeah, yeah. Well, all right. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> Deuces. I'm out. All right, let everybody know where they can find you on social media as well. Hey, on Twitter and Instagram, LaMonica Garrett, at LaMonica Garrett. And that's... Check them out. Yeah. 1883. Hey man, we appreciate you. Two R's, two T's. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate Lioness, you. Yeah. All that, man. Man, we appreciate you, man. I will be looking forward to... The day that you get a lead, yeah, because that's your next I lead action. Yeah, yeah, putting that lead in the universe. Action. I don't want to say I don't want to put say go just manif- you know manifesting to put that into existence. You know, Absolutely, let you get that lead role. You know what I mean? It's I coming. appreciate you. You already it's put coming. in the work. Yeah, it's, all, yeah, it's already sure, on the way. Yeah, the journey yeah. is the destination, so yeah, we're yeah. doing it. There all it right. is. Thanks for having me, y'all. Yeah, already. See you next week. Get your popcorn ready. Yeet.